Hello and welcome back to part 44 of our Fallout 76 beginners walkthrough. And as I promised at the beginning of the last video, but ran out of time to do, we're going to do some basic housekeeping. Um, let's go ahead and scrap. We don't have any junk to scrap. Scrap some of these weapons for possible mods. Now, as we can see, we have 1,200 worth of carry weight, and we're at 1030, 1030. I'm going to go ahead and store all my junk, as well as any food or drink I don't want to carry around. Like, I don't need to carry this dirty water. I'm going to go ahead and store these Nuka Cherries. It's always nice to have a Nuka Cola. I don't need this pepper. Don't need any. Don't need to carry around any spoiled meat or spoiled vegetables. All right. Uh, aid. I'm going to store these blood packs. I'm going to store these Mintats. Because usually I will store Buff Out, Psycho. I'm going to store these Supers. Let's see if we have any mods. Nope. Ammo. Don't really need these. And since we're not carrying shotgun anymore, store those. Just out of curiosity, let's make sure we still have. Yeah. So now, so what, what do we do here when we're starting to see that we have getting close to our limit? Well, one thing you can do is here's all the junk is obviously sorted in alphabetical order, but you might want to sort it. Hang on. By weight. By stack weight. Here we go. So as we can see, if we go all the way down. Here we have two bulk woods that only weigh a pound. So bulking is the way to Go back down to the bottom. Oh well. As we can see, we have an absolute ton of steel. I'll go all the way to the top here. Tons of steel, tons of lead. Well, and tons of gunpowder, which is fantastic because we will be needing those for crafting ammunition. So how do you bulk and craft ammunition? Well, you need a tinker's workbench. So let's go ahead and set that up here. If I can. So let's see. Craft. So let's craft some ammo for our 45. Right now, we're only getting 12 rounds. 12 rounds take 3 gunpowder, 4 lead, and 10 steel. There are some perk cards that you can get that will help your ammo creation. There's a um, also some perk cards under luck called Super Duper, which doubles anything you produce. Um, so for a lot of you that are going to go commando and use auto weapons, you're going to be continuously crafting ammo or buying it from other players. I'm going to go ahead and just craft some 
45 caliber. As you see, we're that crafting this also gives us XP. Now, another thing you can do is bulk. We've got a ton of cloth. Let's see about bulking some cloth. So each bulk of cloth will bulk 30 cloth with the use of two plastics. So let's go ahead and bulk. We'll keep going until we get down to about 100 cloth. There we go. So that's why plastic is a good resource because you can use it for bulking. Another good thing about it bulking is that you can sell your bulk scrap. There's a few other things if you're going to make uh, energy or explosive ammo. Make grenades, you can make mines, various quest items, ultrasite ammo. So, let's go over here. And now if we go to your junk. We have 11 bulked cloth. So we'll hold on to, oh, and just to see. So now we're down to 1,046. Uh, another good thing, oh, let's go back, sorry, quick, uh, quick on the button, uh, is selling. By setting up things to sell, that's another good way to get things out of your inventory that you're not going to use. Alright, well let's see if we can do a little more crafting. Do some boiled water real quick. Any food. Oh yes, brain fungus soup, one of my favorites. Nothing else, all right. Oh, let's see if, another way to kind of reduce is let's see if we can smelt, nope, don't have enough to smelt any fertilizer. quick tour here. Um, here at some point uh, I was experimenting with the uh, wallpapers. Had a double side wallpaper. Maybe I'll show that in another video. But as we can see it's set up here. Let's go ahead and well we'll wait on getting tuned up and I'll show you why. So let's go ahead and instead of running over to set and station to sell, let's go back to our friends at the Wayward. We haven't been back to the Wayward since we helped out Duchess with the Raider gang up at West Virginia Lumber. So let's see what's become of the Wayward uh, now that she no longer has to worry about fending off the gangs. Also, now that we've helped her, we do get slightly better vendor prices from her. And we'll also use this opportunity to kind of fill in some of the map spots here in the forest area before we go across the Savage Divide to continue with the Signal Strength quest. Here we are at the Wayward. And another cutscene. Nice to see these photo snapshots from previous episodes. I guess I deviated from the thumbs up pose for this one. And here we are. 
So we can now see that Polly is here. Since we've helped her. It's cleaned up now. Along with Here's Saul. Hey there, stranger. Look, I can't say this with enough emphasis. Polly and I would be pushing up daisies if you hadn't shown up when you did. You saved us. Seriously, all the gratitude I've got doesn't amount to what you deserve. Here, I want you to have this. I've been saving it for a rainy day, but you earned it. So, thanks, Saul. Anything I can do for you? Yeah, a lot better now I'm out of that pit. But Dutch has spotted me a couple stems, so I'm not too worried. I've had worse. Bounce back just fine. Just takes time, you know, which is the one thing I've got plenty of. We look out for each other. Not sure how long you've been out of the vault, but if you want to make it out of here, you need someone watching your back. Preferably multiple someones. And Polly's been that person for me for a while now. Yeah, see, Duchess and Polly, they didn't work great together. Uh, Duchess treated her like a protectron, a servant to be bossed around. But she's a lot more than that. I don't know if all the Saltrons are like her, or it was something to do with her reprogramming. But she's... <laughs> like a real lady. Yeah, and once I got Duchess to see that, well, it was smooth sailing. Or as smooth as this group gets. Hmm. Seems like there's a bit of a strange attraction between the two. Want to get the details from no, Golly Mine? to tell. Scorched just overwhelmed us. It's weird. They seem rock dumb. But sometimes, sometimes it just seems like, like they know things that they shouldn't. Like they're talking to each other somehow, just without words. Uh, we were holding our own just fine till I got shot. It's a whole lot harder to aim when you can only balance on one leg. <laughs> Once I went down, Polly went ballistic. <laughs> Could say she lost her head over it. All right. Well, let's be going. Talk to you later. Here's various instruments that we can play now. I heard a rumor on the way here. Appalachia. It's backcountry. That can't be true, right? And see what Saul's up to these days, or more. Oh, I mean, hey there. Looking forward to hearing what you thought of those tapes. Now, what do you want to discuss? Well, we don't have Some anything at the moment. That. These are all items. Again, it is perfectly fine to come back here and loot if you want to. Uh, we just discussed how we have plenty at the moment uh, but you'll see the pepperoni roll is no longer left out for us and then speaking of looting you're to run upstairs there is a good bed to rest in then here's the storeroom still more looting opportunities and then Crane's ex-home looks like they've cleaned up from Crane. But anyways, should you need more of a particular resource, there's looting opportunities there. Let's go back and talk to the Duchess. Well, let's see if we can get Polly to interact with us. Now that we've talked to Saul. No, she's not saying anything. What's your poison? Uh, remember, we kind of found her stash. Me? Businesswoman. Carved a nice place out for myself in uh, pharmaceuticals. I made some friends along the way, and lots of enemies. But I was also able to put away enough scratch and supplies that when the end came, well, I was in better shape than most. Traded nearly all of it in order to build this place, though. Now, the wayward's my legacy. And it'd be nowhere without you. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, I've heard of her. Rumor was that she was a smart, savvy, effortlessly beautiful drug kingpin. But I don't think you want to find her, honey. Left a trail of broken families wherever she went. Lucky for us all, that gal disappeared when the bombs dropped. World already had all the monsters it could stomach. So it sounds like this was her opportunity to um, go straight. Nothing other than the rumor of the big one everyone keeps babbling about being tucked away somewhere nearby. I've heard it's a city that drops riches from the sky and that it's a drill that crawls around underground. And at this point, I would not be the least bit surprised to find out it's somehow both. There's a little truth to both of those. No doubt. Appalachia's home to me. Always has been. There was no way I was staying away for long. I presumed I'd only be gone a couple of months. But I kept hearing stories about plagues and monsters and whatnot. When I heard everyone was finally coming back because of some treasure, I figured the monsters and all must have been made up to scare people off. Seems I just vastly underestimated the general populace's level of desperation. So I came back to sell them all drinks and to finally be home again. All right. We can ask about Bessie, but let's right. go ahead and leave Come this back conversation. When you need to work out your drinking muscles. Well, let's do that. Let's trade. No, honest to God. Two purple eyes floating in the distance out on the other side of the ridge. You must have seen wrong. The Flatwoods is a myth for hill people and drunks. Well, whatever helps you recharge at night. Well, what did you do? What do you think I did? I ran like hell back over the ridge. Coward. Hey, you would have done the same thing. For I, too, am a coward. We can sell. We'll keep one. Just in case. Let's sell the daddy O. Although, yeah. And the day tripper. And the diluted rad X. And a couple of the regular rad X. All right. Sell the stealth boy. And that looks good. And junk. As we said, we can now sell this bulk cloth. So bulking is one way to reduce what you have in your stash box. Re anyways, reduce what you have in your stash box as well as um, an opportunity to sell for caps, stuff you don't need. Uh, as we see, we just leveled on the challenges. So another thing we should be doing on a daily basis is checking the challenges and the scoreboard. Let's see the scoreboard. Let's claim our... All right, we got some legendary modules. And then next, we'll get some atoms. Now let's see what today's challenges are. Let's see, leveling up will give us a thousand. Uh, completing an event will give us a hundred. And weekly, let's see where we're at on weeklies. Again, this is something you should probably check every day when you log in, just to see where you're at. Uh, scrap junk to produce lead. Uh, as much as we collect lead, that probably shouldn't be a, uh, much of a challenge for us to get 30 lead out of scrapping so that could be an easy thousand points all right
So let's go ahead and resume. And one thing I'd like to kind of do now while we're up here is kind of color in the map. There's some areas here, some locations. The first thing I'm going to do is fast track back to 76. And we're going to go to want to go look for the uh, Kanawaha Lookout, the North Kanawaha Lookout Tower. So we'll climb up it and scan the horizon to add some new locations to our map here in the forest. And we'll go ahead and spend the rest of this venue, or the rest of this video, I should say, uh, exploring around. Come on, cutscene. All right, so we can see the little outline. Of the tower here in our. Uh, well, I'll take a little silt bean. Here on the compass, we'll try to line up with the tower. Follow this little path up the hill. What kind of enemies can we anticipate here at the lookout tower? Well, nothing so far, but be on the safe side, go into sneak mode. This is cover. Oh, super mutants. Lovely. Oh, where are we on food and drink? Oh, man. And I hate those things, too. Go back down behind this. No more hiding for you. I mean no more hiding. Oh crap. Uh oh. Come on. Well, that was almost dangerous. Now, let's see. Still sorted for spoilage. Let's get up to the top. See if we can get it. Well, we'll eat a. There we go. That's more like it. Should be able. To. Well, darn it. Seems like area looting seems to be. There we go. 
All right. Oh, one more. Come on down. All right, we got a cooking station here. Um, sometimes in these meat bags you can find some. Oh, I did. Uh, yeah, we'll get some mole rat meat. We can cook that up. Any other meat bags? <laughs> oh. Almost missed that explosives crate. Nothing in there. Well, let's run up the stairs and see what we see. There I think some more hanging meat bags. Yep, there's one. sure what's going on there. No, I don't think we can get to that. I have to let that one go. Seems to be out of reach. More splatter and gore. Let's see we have a note. Apparently there were some responders. <laughs> well, seeing as how we were able to open that, I guess the super mutants didn't seem to have a problem. Now let's see if we can survey the area. What locations does that add? Five new locations. Fantastic. So we see down there, there's a bit of an overlook. So we'll run down and look at those cabins real quick. Make sure there's nothing on this side worth looting. Oh, did I miss? I want to. Ah, there we go. All right. And down we go. And there's the toilet down there. See if there's a way to do a flying leap. Up. Oh, anyways, there's where the key is. I'm gonna try it one more time. And let's see what areas we now have to discover got this twin cabins and we have the lighthouse. Um, I think I did mention in a previous video as we came up Highway 59 to get to Wilson Brothers Auto Repair to be very careful to avoid this. As a lower level player uh, this could be a dangerous encounter 
especially coming from this direction. If you're going to attack the, pin, the Twin Pines cabins like we're about to do, you want to come from this side, come down the hill to be able to snipe them from above. So, let's go investigate this bit of the park. Did we get it for it burrowed? Oh, didn't really need that ladle. That's just steel, which we don't really need. Here's a pump. Should we need some more boiled water for our cook station? And a little ranger's cabin here. Let's see, get up on the porch from the other way, I believe. Yes. Sorry. house. Again, always with the potty humor. I thought I could jump up on this from this direction. Come on. Uh-oh, Sickle Man was here. A little ammo. We took the Sickle of Sickle Man, and I guess this is... Here's the safe. how we get in. Go out on the porch. Where we have weapons workbench to scrap. Have a hot tub, empty hot tub. Let's, I'm going to try to, I need to turn this off, I hope. Come on. There, turn that off. So we can see there four skulls, five skulls. I don't know if this is skull repository or it happened to be five folks in the hot tub at the time. Or these are the victims of Sickle Man. Let's see what else we can find here in the cabin. Some booze bottles, female skeleton, butter churn, doing a little bit of the, and, oh, a recipe that we already know, some spices, some whiskey, toaster, and around the other side, See a busted bed. Come on. Yeah, we want that bobby pin box. I'm going to jump over here. Definitely want that duct tape. Military duct tape. Found. Great. We'll get some 
Some handcuffs. Hmm. Some ammo. Toy truck. I'm going to leave the hunting rifle. Like I said, I believe we ha currently have all that we need. There's an empty bottle of Nuka Shine. So around we go here. And let's go ahead and let's use the cook station real quick. Here I'm going to Go ahead and collect some water so we can make some more boiled water. There we go. Interesting as to what's thrown up against the wall there. Give us some extra strength. And here we make some silk bean soup. All right. Now that we've explored this. There's also this little scenic overlook. of Appalachia. Okay. So, but our next stop is Twin Cabins, the Blood Eagle Lair. So we're going to head in that direction. Vats check. Sometimes the uh, raiders are wobbling, wandering around. So let's see what's going on here. We can hear the sounds of. Got this guy playing the mouth harp. Maybe dispatch him. Oh, I thought we could one shot him. Jeez, pretty resilient. Oh. Man, he's a tough one. Well, I would hope that would be a sneak attack. Let's see who else is hanging around the Blood Eagle camp. You'd have thought we'd have gotten some attention. So we dropped one of their brethren. Here we go, I'm going to get behind this tree. And we see someone guarding the approach. Level 28. Hold still, lady. I guess I could... There we go, take a breath. There's another one. Reload. Let's move around the other side of this tree. There's that guy. Get 
And that might be it. Again, this is the preferred approach. As you can see, if you come up the road or from the highway through the front gate there, you've got this person. You've got a couple wandering over there. These are a little higher level, so definitely not anything you want to encounter at a lower level. Oh, and I'm getting the red... Let's, oh, we want items, weapons. Well, it seems to be okay. Oh. Oh, man. Yep, we'll have to do some weapons repair where we get some chance. Oh. Walk up on us like that. All right. All right, combat. Hopefully we can get a... So we have the two cabins, this one and this one. First, while we're here, let's go ahead and investigate. Take some wood piles. And this is exactly what we need, a weapons workbench. But let's go ahead and Oh, maybe a little to the left. Do a little more looting before we do some scrapping. We've already listened to their oath before, but well, it's short. We can listen again. Oh, have another. Oh. I was hoping to get that pencil, not the cigar. So we see that uh, the Blood Eagles were vicious enough to take out some of the uh, super mutants that were occupying the twin cabins. And we're overweight, so let's go ahead and do that scrapping now. So let's scrap all our junk. Get some acid, which is good. Come on, give us a mod here on this combat rifle. Short scope. Eh, not really what we wanted. hot plate, greaser jacket and jeans we could sell, but the wonder glue we definitely want. Don't need a skull faceplate. Did I get this? Nothing there we need. Anything behind the door? Oh yes! Explosives crate. Don't want to miss that. So we can see this architecture here. Typical super mutant architecture with the Blood Eagles logo now spray painted on their window. Show that they've claimed this. See if we get any loot out of this. 
All right. And we can see them burning the bodies of the uh, super mutants that they killed. Mobile toilet there. Never hurts to check. Make sure there's nobody out front. Again, if you come from this direction, then it's awfully tough. These guys are pretty well defended. Let's see. I can't forget we dropped a guy up there on the roof, but let's go investigate inside the cabin before we go get him. And we get a steamer chest. Oh, Carlisle typewriter. Good for parts. Pioneer scout poster. Salt gas mask. See what they have in their fridge. Sometimes you get some Kims. Yep, here we go. Pork and beans. All right. Well, no plans, mods, or net, or recipes. Sometimes those will. Gen oh, hang on! I spoke too soon. There we go. Take that. Also, you can see down here where the floorboards are, some handcuffed skeletons. I do we can take the handcuffs off that one. I don't know if we can get to the other one. But don't know who was handcuffing and Placing skeletons beneath the floorboard. Perhaps that crime occurred before the bombs dropped. Okay, and as alluded to, let's run over and loot that last raider up here on the rooftop. Oh, and he was a missile launcher. Oh. Again. Getting shot at with missiles from an elevated position like this, tough going. Well, let's run back and scrap again real quick. Let's see, are there any, didn't remember there being any leather. Let's go ahead and scrap. See if we're gonna come on, give us a mod for this. Nope. All right, now let's do a little repairing since our Oh, almost forgot. Okay, we currently have Gunsmith. There is another perk card. Just like uh, you have the armor and the fix it good, you'll also have a perk card for repairing weapons as well. So before you do any weapon repair, you want to make sure you get that. Um, there's also one for it also you can reduce the cost of uh, repairing weapons so all 
Oh. Sorry. We want to inspect repair. We're going to do a workbench repair. Alright. Any other weapons? I think we pretty much have the shotgun as much as we wanted to. Okay, the hardened receiver is the best we're going to do here for the most damage. It's our true long barrel. Forceful stock. Standard magazine. And I sure would like to get a better magazine. And we still don't have a suppressor. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this area. Um, if we were to travel a little farther up here, we will be leaving the comfort of what's known as the forest. I believe we have pretty much discovered every location in the forest. Um, Let's see, we might have just enough time to try to, let's see if we can get that done. We're going to go ahead and see if we can't do the ecological, let's see, we'll turn off. I'm going to try to do ecological balance real quick. Let's see if we can get that done. Um, so we're going to want to go over here let's see if we can fast travel here and then go south let's see where are the other ones so we've got that one oh uh, we've got one here and the thing is that you do all of these here one it oh that's there's our other they're all going to be in the forest only see two of the three. Oh, there's the other one. So what you do is you go to these three places, then you go back to the Tiger water treatment, back to the little trailer, and input that. Let's see if we can get it real quick. Hopefully these cutscenes won't take very long. We can get to the collectors pretty quickly. And be on our way. Again, these this only this will only spawn in the uh, forest area. if we can't outrun those mole rats. And as these are limited to the forest area, you'll see that they do tend to generate in about the same place. Wow, look at that. I've never seen that type of bird before. I'm trying to find the right place to settle down. Oh, go to foundation. 
Hey, and you know. Need some new clothes. I'm getting really muddy. So the other thing maybe would be a good idea while we're over here is one of the daily quests was complete an event. Let's see if maybe we can't Keep trigger. For danger. You never know who's watching. Let's see if we can't uh, trigger the wolf hunt here. I can't remember off the top of my head exactly what the name of that little quest is. But uh, it's always a good source of legendary weapons. I think it's Leader of the Pack. That's the name of that event. Let's see if we can trigger Leader of the Pack, and that'll give us uh, points on our daily quest for completing an event. And we could always claim the Tyler Kirk County dirt track, although we've already done that and received the plan for that. So let's see, it's usually kind of right in here is where it triggers. That's frustrating. Can do this quest real quick though. Oh. Let's see, it's down here. Another guy over there. Anybody else? Oh. upstairs is that everybody let's see Let's see if that's enough to claim the uh Let's See we dropped some guys over here. <laughs> <laughs> 